She's listed on the board right now with 98. We'll see if they make that one more change. My guess would be, oh. No, she is coming out. What's wow. the change gone to, though? Yeah, I wonder if she just took her last warm up at 95. There she is at 98. Okay, 98 kilos in. Her best snatch internationally, 103. Oh, she's got a fight with it. Yeah. Looks to be a good lift. It's a great lift. Yep. And she's on the board. Solid opener for her, 98. Yeah, I don't remember. I was about to say, I don't remember the last time. I'm not sure we've ever seen a European Championships since these new categories have emerged where the first snatch is as heavy as 98. Yeah, I mean, that's there's true. There's no way, there's no way. Yeah. And then the fact that it, it's not even a, a, it wasn't even a European who opened it up makes things a little bit more, even more odd. Yeah, here's Sarah Davies with 98 as well. Her best international also is uh, 103 kilos. Yeah, this is a solid, a solid weight for her to open at. Yeah, she took the bronze medal at the European Championships last year. She snatched 100 kilos there. Oh, very nice. That's good. She's on the board now. That's exactly what she needed. Yep. She needs to make some consistent lifting here. She can build the total in the snatch. Yep. She has a shot, potentially. Like we said, though, she might need a very, very big clean and jerk. Get herself in that top 10. All right, 98 stays on the bar. We'll see if Iceland takes this. Nope, the change, yep. So Celia Gold now from Israel is the lifter, 98. Stays on the bar. You can see her in the back there. All right, here's Celia Gold. This, again, very, very heavy opener. Yeah. 99, her best internationally, but when we spoke with her, she said that she'd made 102 in training. Looks to be good. Mm. We like to see this, a lot of makes so far. Yeah, she looks relieved. Takes some of the pressure off. She said that she had a, uh, a UCL sort of sprain, which I think is elbow. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but she said she's feeling confident overhead again. That's good. Here we go. It's Stella Dotter from Iceland. Best international of 104. This is her ninth international. Oh, very comfortable. Doesn't move the feet at all. Yeah. Smooth pull. Yeah, very easy. And so we're almost, in fact, I think we're, yeah, we're going to move to 100 now yeah. because all the 99s that are written in are just the automatic increases. So I think we're going to go to Jeanette the Sione from Finland, the uh, the youngest athlete in the field, junior. Very powerful lifter. Well, it looks like she's maybe making a change as well. Iceland making a change. Finland making a change. Yeah, I mean, those uh, those scorecards are going to be completely filled out. Every single change used. This, yeah, this is not a session for a new coach. 
Yeah, exactly. This is, you've got to be so switched on. And certainly, if you're in the back room as a coach, you really want to have at least one other coach with you. Yeah. You need someone almost, someone on the board, someone with the athlete, and maybe even someone over here just putting the changes in. Is yeah, Stu we're making seeing, a change? I mean, every lifter is moving up. That so, looks like 101 to yeah. me for Sarah's second attempt. Well, we're already back to Celia Gold here at yeah. 100. I could see her taking that, even though it's just a two kilo jump. I think we just saw a change, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to 101. So Jeanette maybe Yelsini. it will be. Yeah, Luciani. So in 101. Does Jeanette take this 101? I don't see anyone coming out. Yeah, there she is. She said the training for this competition has been very intense. A lot of volume with heavy lifts. Best snatch so far in 2024 is 105 in the gym. Here's 101. A little twist at the yeah. bottom there. But it looks to be a good lift. Now yeah, she's happy with that one. Yeah. Okay, so here's our independent athlete. Susanna oh, Velotska, yeah. 101. So she's actually snatched 108 kilos before. She did that at the uh, Grand Prix in Cuba back in June of last year. Oh, very easy. Yeah. You know, we've seen that from yep. all of these athletes representing, well, lifting in the independent, independent nations. Very, very technically solid and yeah. strong. Sometimes making only the first few lifts, but definitely a threat here. Uh, a longtime veteran here, Lisa Marie Schweitzer. Yeah, her first competition, 2012, the European Youth Championships. She's not 72 there. There's only two kilos under her best. This is a big opener for her. Yeah. Taking her time, waits for the buzzer. Oh, that pretty, yeah. pretty comfortable. Big pull, easy catch. Yeah. She called that high, wrote it down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Very strong opening attempt there. Yeah, she's in wow. good shape here if she's opening that heavy. You know, something we've seen in these uh, Olympic categories is that a lot of the athletes are opening extremely heavy because yes. they're just looking for their Olympic placements. They're trying to get into the top 10. Uh, and as a result, they're sort of missing out on easy op abilities to, to medal because it tends yeah. to be the athletes who could medal at the Europeans are the ones who are trying to get into the top 10. And they're ending up missing all of their lifts. So there's definitely an opportunity for some of these other athletes if that same pattern sort of continues on here to end up in the medals. Here's Alwine at 101. This will be a kilo more than she's done recently. Wow. Oh, look to be good. Maybe yeah. we'll wait for the lights here to see. Yeah, I was watching that. Yeah, I was watching from Two the side. One. It looked good, but yeah. I, I wasn't sure from the front. But yeah, the, oh, the jury is jury jumps on that. Up. Yeah. Any opportunity they can. Oh, to they love to jump on it. Yeah. yeah. You know, if well, they see even just a flick of an elbow, you've got to I mean, validate your right. existence at some point. We've got a little bit of a yeah. We a can view see the replay, here. right? Looks like a maybe. Mm. Oh, I that, mean, that's very minimal. That right elbow is very minimal, but we'll see. Yeah, they're probably going to. Oh, you can all see it on the screen yeah. now as well. I'll just show it you once. The jury the last. Wow, yeah. they've taken it away. They've taken it away. 
Well, you know, I love having the jury involved in the sport. Well, that makes one. That makes one of us. Yeah, they make it better, you know. <laughs> Great lift over turn. You can't beat it. Yeah. You can't beat it. There okay, was here comes Sarah. Yep. Just a couple of kilos from her best snatch. Well, also, in 2024, in training, she's only worked up to 98. Wow. So she's not really felt this sort of weight overhead in a while. She's done heavy pulls, but not overhead with this. Oh, I yeah. pulled it. She looks strong, though. Big swing yeah. there. Yeah, she, she swung it, jumped forward, and then looped behind because of that. And then you almost think, how uh, how much is she thinking, I need to make the most of this, this competition as an opportunity to go to the Olympics? Does she just go up and take a third attempt at 103 just to put herself in the spot for it? Or should she just think, you know what, maybe I'm not going to crack top 10 today, but... I could still be a European silver medalist. Or, yeah, you know. I mean, the reality here is that we don't really know exactly what second and third are going to snatch, but, you know, it, it might not be that much more. You know, I think... Uh, low hundreds, yeah, for sure. I mean... I'd love to see her get another senior European medal. Yeah. We don't get many of those in Great Britain. It would be amazing. That, mm -hmm. Yep, Celia Gold there. No. Yeah, a little shy on the right arm. That could have been the elbow, though. Yeah, it never locked out. So, of course, two athletes still yet to open, Laura Donatoma and Olivia Reeves. Both of them have 105 kilos written in. I do believe it's possible that Laura Dana opens at 105 to seal the gold yeah. for the European snatch. Yeah. She's but, already got her spot um, secure. She doesn't really yeah. need to do anything here to win this. It's not like she's going to try to move up or compete with Olivia at all. Well, we've had word from Olivia that she would quite like to open up at 110. Yeah, I could see that. Which is enormous. And she hit 110 in the training hall uh, a few days ago, and it did look... Well, they both did, actually. Laura Donna and Olivia hit 110, and they both made it look very nice. Olivia probably a little bit better. Okay, so Davies is repeating the 101. That's yeah. probably a smart call, because yeah, that point. would really set her up well for meddling here. So Sarah recently switched coaches, now works with Spencer Arnold from the USA. Ah. And so they've been um, working on some technical changes. She mentioned pushing with the legs more rather than, she has a tendency to throw the shoulders back, she says. So trying to finish in the legs. That's a really good lift. Yeah, it looked good. We'll see with the left arm. She's happy with it. Three white, yeah. well, two whites, one red. One red, but the jury have stopped it. Yeah, I think they're going to take this it away. This jury that are just out for blood today. That left you know, arm might have central, been a uh, The central jury, I saw her push the button that says jury stop. And she, she really, you know, she really put some welly into it. Yeah, she was not letting Sarah get off the stage before she knew. That's a subtle. Oh, that is so subtle, subtle. bobble, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see. At least they put it on the screen for one, once. Yeah, it's got to be a bit frustrating. Yeah, they reversed, they reversed it. it. Oh, come on! Did you know someone said to me? I won't say who, but it was someone who has been filming at the Asian Championships and never been to the Europeans before. And they said to me, "Are the European Championships always this, this strict?" Ah. Um, and they said, "I've never seen it like this in Asia." And yeah. I thought, well, yeah, it's true. It's different. You know, that's a probably a good lift to the Asian champs. Well, the, you know, that highlights a, a big issue is that the inconsistency is the bigger problem. Yeah. Right. And and the more rules and the more subjective control there is, the bigger the problem gets. All right, Celia Gold here. Had a comfortable attempt last time, but that right elbow just unlocked. Yeah. yeah. Well, she mentioned the issues that yeah. she's been having with the UCL, so... Yeah, it's a little tough to yeah. sort of push through that. Yeah. 
This is for the second attempt, representing Iceland, Igor Fondal. 102 now for Iceland. Stella Dossett. She is probably the, in this session, the most likely to be able to try and make a jump in her ranking. Yeah. She's actually 14th in the world. And there's, you know, potentially one or two athletes ahead of her who might not go to the Olympics who are in that top 10, which could bump her up again. Here's 102. That's oh, a great good lift. lift. Yeah, she did swing it a little bit. Yeah. You can see her hips come up a little fast off the floor, but... But as she stood, her hips rose, yeah. but that almost helped save it because it was a touch forward, but yeah. the Very rise of the hips pushed the chest forward and she got back in front. So realistically, we're probably going to see all attempts made and then a, a sort of a good old fashioned back and forth between Laura Diner and Olivia. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, we'll see what... Because, we'll see what I mean, Laura Donnit... I mean, she's probably not going to come out until they're done. So she probably... Well, she might not. She might just keep bumping up until she knows she's going to open with the win. I mean, you know, we, we don't want to discount uh, Volodska, too. She's got 105 True. as her second. Yeah, she yeah. could... Uh, she could be the one. She could go above that. She could hit a 108 yeah. maybe here. And we don't know what shape she's in. Yeah. Laura Donna, I mean, somebody who's closer to her said to me she's going to be fine. I don't yeah. know exactly what that means, but I think that means she's looking good. Yeah. In uh, Romanian English. But yeah. we'll see. All right, here's Alwine's third attempt. Got called on the 101 for a, sm a very slight press out. Or elbow rebend, I guess. 103 here. Just left it out front there. Yeah. But she's actually a very strong clean and jerker, so I'd expect to see a pretty big result there. Finland now with 104, a three kilo jump for her opener. Just swings it a little bit, loops it behind. She doesn't have the strongest of lockouts, so when it's got that loop, yeah. A little harder. Same way. Remains on the bar. 104 kilos. Now for the second time. Germany. Lisa Marie Schweitzer. Okay. Lisa Marie Schweitzer now. Lisa goes up. Thanks, lifter. Representing wow. Iceland. So Lisa pumps. Bear in mind, Lisa's best snatch internationally is 103. And she's oh, wow. just bumped her second from 104 to 105, I assume. Yeah, 105. So we're looking at Stella Dotter coming out again, although she's just made a change. We can see the Icelandic coach. So back to, to Jeanette for her third attempt. We'll see if she takes this. Yeah, a lot of these attempts are really going to set them up for medals. These are a little bit more trying to shoot for that right around 105 mark. Obviously, Toma yeah. opening 105 could probably easily open heavier than that. And she's back again right off the bat. It would technically be Olivia out next, but we assume from what she's told us that she will bump her opener up and not come out at 105. 
But you never know. She might do. Oh. Mm. Yeah, she twisted on the first. Can't do it. Second one was not quite locked out, but that twist there on the third was too much. I mean, my impression of Olivia Reeves and the coaches is that they're, I mean, I could be wrong here, but I always imagine they're essentially trying to talk her down <laughs> from what she wants to go out and do sometimes. Yeah. I can imagine her saying, well, let's just go out at 115. And they're saying, well, how, you know, Maybe we don't do that. Maybe we, we build up to it. Yeah, I don't know the coaching dynamic between the two. I don't really have a lot of uh, no. time I've spent with the two of them, but they well, work yeah. together well. Now for the second team, so, yeah, Reeves is bumping up. That's going to bring out Vladska with her 105. Yeah, Romania, uh, Toma has also bumped up to 106. I think it, it is possible that she wants to open with the gold at the Europeans. Yeah. And then let Reeves from the USA come out as well. One oh five. Oh solid Ooh. lift. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, she's she's definitely in a position to gun for a medal here. You know, potentially even could battle for, could battle Toma. Yeah. I think maybe we're, we don't want to sleep on that. Okay, here's Schweitzer, 105. This is a personal best for her. And for an athlete who's been competing internationally for this long, amazing to see new record attempts. Gonna set up, wait for that buzzer, 30 seconds. There it is. Oh, beautiful lift. Yeah. Just technically perfect. Unbelievable. You know, and she's still on an upward trend with her weightlifting, which is amazing. I mean, what she first snatched 100 kilos in uh, 2021 at the European Champs. Since then, she hasn't not snatched 100. You know, yeah. 100, then 103, 102, 103 again. Uh, she's hit 103 a lot of times, actually. So, I mean, she's just only getting better. Yeah, that's impressive for that decade plus long career. Let's throw the daughter, 105. I think, I, is this a kilo, kilo personal best? Good yeah. Business. Yeah, 104. She's made most of her third attempts in her career. Oh, again, wow. She does it. Very nice. That same lift, that little hop forward. It's yeah. a touch, touch out in front, but it doesn't seem to cause any problems, at least not, not as of yet, not yeah. that we've seen. She's able to get under it very athletic. Look who it is, Loredana Toma, the two-time world champ, the ex-world record holder, the multiple-time European champion, coming out of 106. Her best snatch is 119 kilos. Yeah, this should be a very easy lift for her. Yep. That's really good. What we expect, casual opener. She'll probably just put in a placeholder for now and take yeah. the final snatch. Two athletes asking for 106 and 107, and then Olivia Reeves yet to open. Well, let's see, because Lisa's gonna bump up her 106 for sure. Yeah. Which is meaning that it's, it's technically Olivia now. You know, 107's possible. She might be also thinking to herself, oh no, I just saw Steve, her coach, walking with some speed towards the table. So I wonder if they're putting in a change. There's that 106 again. That's 
keep okay. an eye on Reeves' number. You know, she's she's in a position, Olivia's in a position here where she's made know, a change. 110, wow, there we go, 110. that's what we thought. She has, you know, really no reason to do anything other than try for a, a, an even bigger total. Well, here's something for you. Has a non-US Super ever opened at 110? Yes. Who? Matty, maybe? Has she? Yeah, I think Maddie has for sure. But that would be it, right? It's got to be it. Okay, here's 107 now for Volodska. This is only a kilo under her best. First two attempts look great. Uh, just a little bit forward. Hop yeah. back from that bar. So <laughs> Schweitzer now with 107 on the board. This would move her into the lead in the snatch. Koma obviously still has two attempts. Such a good lifter. So impressive, just getting better and better as she goes. Second buzzer. Look at that wow. lift. Wow. Oh, I mean, unbelievable. Yeah, phenomenal you could never performance. Have predicted that she was going to be able to pull out something like a 107. That's huge for her. It's a four kilo personal best. I mean, you don't, you just don't do that. Yeah, that's impressive. At this level. Yeah, 12 years deep into her career here. Phenomenal. I mean, to give you some perspective, if we run back her best lifts from her last few competitions, 100, 103, 103, 102, 103, 100, 100, 100. Yeah, that's you it. Know, that's just her, she's a career 100 to 103 type yeah. athlete, and then she hits 107. Yeah, she's having an outlier. the meat of her life here with the snatch. So Toma's taking 109. You know, this is strategic probably because it would give her a little bit more time. She'll make this and then uh, Olivia will take an attempt after her. Oh, uh, she's in good shape, you know. She yeah. is in good shape. Very good snatch. I know she's not really approaching her top lift, and she she won't, you know, maybe get back in that shape until the Olympics, if the, if if ever again. But she's moving much better. She looks, um, I wouldn't say happier, but <laughs> stronger. Wow! Here comes Olivia, who always has that smile. You know that whole I know yeah. something that no one else knows. And I'm happy to tell you that something that she told us was that she snatched 116 kilos so yeah. far this year in training. That's remarkable. Yeah. Um, and the 110 that we saw from her in the training hall, again, looked very smooth. She was doing doubles at 100, no problems there. 110 kilos. Olivia Reeves. This is a big weight. I mean, oh, what do you... That's incredible. What do you say about that? I mean, that's that looks casual. She moves... So well. Yeah, so well. Well, that's the thing. She, she's always been strong. I mean, and she continues yeah. to get stronger, but her technique has just sharpened up so much. Yeah, I mean, look at that lift. Yeah. Just incredibly powerful. She's starting to get a really good feel for the bar. Yeah. yeah I mean, that... Who knows where the limit is on this, but yeah. that is... A giant lift. Well, we saw her at the World Championships in 2022. I think that was the first time I saw her compete in person. She snatched 106 there, and an amazing lift, especially at her age at the time. But she just didn't move like that. She didn't no. look the same. Her technique is just getting better and yeah. better. Yeah, she's always been incredibly strong, but you know, is, is really now coming into her own. So, so something worth mentioning as well is that Team USA, well, I, I believe Olivia's strategy and to some degree the rest of Team USA is because I've 
spoken with Mike about this, is Mike Gatone, is that they do want to improve her 262 total. Yeah. Because if they can approach, start to approach Lao Gui Fang's, you know, number one total, the 273, that could be enough to frighten China from just not sending a, yeah. 70, a 71. Even if she doesn't get, you know, within five kilos, if they just continue to see this upward tra trajectory from Olivia over the last few years, there's a very good chance they won't send Lao Gui Fang. They'll send, yeah. you know, their 49, their 59, their 81, their super. Well, it's, yeah, They've it's got a big enough question athletes mark. to choose from. You know, China doesn't want to risk it. And if they see, like you said, they see Olivia just continue to put in, you know, <laughs> incredible performances and upward trajectory, they're going to be a little bit nervous. Yeah. That's the theory, at least. We'll see if that holds. Uh, she's coming out for 114 here. Big smile on her face. Very different demeanor than than some of the other lifters here. So Olivia's best is is one 115 in competition. Yeah. So 116 would be an American record for her. Right. Oh, Up, just swings it a little bit. You know, it said on the le on the scoreboard, if successful, if successful, new record in snatch. What is that? Junior world record? No, nope. but she's snatched more than it. Oh, you know what? It's probably just the scoreboard because thinking that she's European. Thinking she's a European, they think I guess. She's a junior European. Because what's the junior European record? One fifteen. No. Uh, One ten. Okay, yeah, so Ms. they Rindino, think that yeah. she's a, a junior. That'd yeah. be my guess. So Toma now with 114. Five kilo jump here. Oh, oh nice perfection. save. She's and a happy. smile. We don't yeah. see smiles that often from Laura She must be happy with that one. So rare to wow. see. Well, you know, I, I think part of her probably just thought, I'm not having somebody from the yeah. USA come to Europe and try and outsnatch me. Yeah, very true. But she's got another attempt. Olivia can go out and hit this. Now representing the USA. She wants more. She goes for 150. She's going, she's going uh, up. Well, you know, again, she's only here to move that total up, so... What do you think she's going to? I'm going to guess 116. Well, they've put 15 on. Now it's 15. So she's... Interesting. This she's would tie equaling. her best. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's a competitor. You know, she wants yeah. to outlift Loredana. She wants to... Yeah. That's Even though she point. doesn't get to get a medal here because she doesn't well, technically compete the I mean, Europeans. Yeah, she, everybody knows what's happening. Yeah, she does compete against Toma on the world stage, you know, yeah. just this competition in particular now. So 115 for Olivia Reeves equals her best snatch in competition. Oh, wow. Whoa. You know, she shows her incredible <laughs> strength with that save. Yes. A bar moving backward like that on almost anybody else, but she just quickly plants a back foot and I, stops it. I want to see that today. I really want to see that again. That was uh, incredibly strong. That's enormous. I mean, let's not forget, she just equaled the junior world record. Yeah. So, you know, no junior 71 has ever done more than what she just did. She's just doing it again. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so uh, a quick recap of what's going on there. Uh, talking just about the Europeans, the gold medal in the snatch goes to Laura Donatoma. She, she does look, you know, she's, she's bad. In shape. She, she's in good shape. 114 in the snatch, three for three. Uh, three athletes, by the way, from Europeans went three for three, which is amazing. Not many misses here. Yeah. 
Uh, so 114, that's a gold medal to Laura Donatema. That's Romania. The silver, Lisa Marie Schweitzer, a four kilo personal best, yeah, incredible. 107. Then the bronze, 105 to Volodska, independent athlete. The runner up in fourth to Stella Dossa at 105. She also went three for three. She lifted very, very well. Uh, but then the athlete who snatched the most is Olivia Reeves from the USA, 115. Uh, a quick recap. I might as well go through them all. There's not too many athletes competing. Uh, Celia Gold made 98. Uh, Lissioni uh, made 101. Sarah Davies, 98. Meredith Alwyn, 98. Um, so that's those are the results so far. You can see some of these records there. Uh, Incredible. Yeah, absolutely huge performance. I mean, you can so. see Reeves is only six kilos behind the world record snatch. She yep. has to be the closest to a world record, a senior world record of any any American athlete in... Well, I mean, let's not forget Hampton Morris could have attempted a world record clean and jerk a few days yeah, that's ago. That's true. Hampton Morris, yeah. I mean, yeah. He, he, he held... He got given a lift two kilos shy of the world record, and then the jury did what the jury does and ruined the day by taking <laughs> it away for no reason. So, um... <laughs> Very true. <laughs> no, there was a flick how do you, the How do you really feel about it, though, Seb? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I love them. I think they're great. Yeah, outside of, outside of those two, in, yeah. in any other non, you know, outside of the modern era... Well, what a treat for Team USA. You know, they're at the end of a quad, they're going to see a lot of retirements, I imagine, from some of the top athletes yeah. in the USA. But to have the two best athletes being yeah. the two youngest in the squad. Yeah, very young. It's very exciting. Yeah, they could move into the next quad with a very strong young team. We also saw Caden Cahoy the other yes, night. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, looking incredible as well. Young athlete. Well, he actually sent us a DM and said... I heard about this. Yeah, he said, um, after having watched me perform yesterday, do you have any suggestions as to what I can improve on before Thailand? And uh, I felt flattered. Yeah. The first thing I said was, you know, well, mentally you look very strong because you just had the performance. Yeah. I mean, you just looked amazing. You're clearly a competitor. Then I said... Let me talk to Max because I am not in, <laughs> in no way qualified <laughs> to be giving you advice on what you should be doing as an athlete. Let me talk to a, a real international coach who's been at this level and, and done these sorts of things before. So after this session, we'll, we'll have to have a talk about that and, and get back to him. But yeah, uh, he lifted very well. It's flattering for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. There's Sarah Davies. Very harsh call on this 101. Yeah. You know, the major issue, I think, from our perspective and a lot of the spectators is that the jury has a way of really killing the momentum of the competition. Yeah. You know, lots of made lifts. Lots are, of big celebrations. Yeah. Good lifts, and then it's just the energy gets sucked out of the building. Yeah. That was a great lift for Iceland. She yeah. performed very well. Mary so. Schweitzer. What a lift. Yeah, that was incredible. That Let's was unexpected, I think. 107 kilos yeah. for her. Huge PR. Yeah, her, uh, her boyfriend is actually here in the, uh, in the media area uh, with a bunch of cameras making sure he captures everything. So I can't yeah. imagine the, the, the stress of not only trying to get a good shot, but also watching the person that you're, you know, you're spending your life with attempting these yeah. enormous weights trying to get, trying to get medals. And then there it is. Reeves at the 110, oh. 115. Yeah, the 115. Okay, so Reeves is going to have to clean and jerk. <laughs> if she wants to improve her total, she can't improve her ranking. To improve her ranking, she'd have to set such an enormous world record in the clean and jerk that let's not even go there. No. But if she wants to even improve her total, she's going to need 148 kilos. I could see that being reasonable. It, I, I mean, could see it, her doing that. Well, it's, it's unreasonable that a junior could do that. But <laughs> yeah. it, 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 it's reasonable that she might. Yeah. <laughs> for where we're at now, for what reality has yeah, changed yeah. for us now. It has changed. We could see that in the world. Yeah. Yeah, well, Team China are legitimately nervous of her. There were conversations that were had from the Chinese coaching staff after Olivia Reeves hit that 262 in Doha, um, asking, trying to gain more information about Olivia so they could, well, they could learn more about what she's done in training, yeah. how, how well she's doing. Um, they're nervous. You know, they're looking at their 49, 59, 81, plus 81, 
and thinking, well, maybe three of those four rather than three of the full five categories are the, are the right choices. Yeah, I would say that you, uh, China is the only country in the world that has the kind of conversations they do about who do we send because we have the yeah. top two in every weight class, basically, uh, or most weight classes. Yeah, well, we can win, but... Yeah. Who what if we, we only win by five kilos instead right. of 15? Yeah. That or, might not look so good in the know, world stage. What if we have a four for six day? Does yeah, that yeah, mean yeah. we still win, or does that mean that there's a it's, possibility well, someone they need to work out. If, them? Yeah. If they have an athlete who goes four for six, is there a weightlifter in the rest of the world who going six for six could beat them? Yeah. If the answer is yes, they probably won't send that athlete. Yeah. Yeah, they don't. Well, they, on they, the, this is on the women's side. The men's side, they're not quite so strong anymore. Yeah. I'm not sure why that is. I think they've got a bit older team. Yeah. It's kind of cycled through. Yeah. You know, Tian Tao is, uh, he's also changed weight class every time, he's, but he's, he's been around for a long time, you know. And then Xi Jiang as well. We yeah, he's been seen, around a while. Haven't seen anything really from him in the last Except few in training. years. Yeah, training. Yeah, last few years, not so much. In training the last few months, he's put up some pretty impressive lifts. He snatched over 160. He, he power jerked, actually, not even squat jerked. Power jerked 200. Yeah. That's uh, that's wild. But, but has, then the, yeah, he has yet to do it in a competition here. Yeah. So The athlete in this 71 kilo class, who I think is a real dark horse for Olympic gold, this, this is under the assumption that Lao Guifang isn't sent. I, I genuinely believe if Lao Guifang is sent to the Olympics, I don't think anyone could beat her. I just don't think it's possible. But if they don't send her, which they might not, um, the Dark Horse has to be Angie Dehomes from Ecuador. She snatched 121 kilos for the world record. She holds the world record. Yeah, that's You know, true. she does that again and snatches around 120. She only has to do 143, and she's out totaled Olivia. Yeah. Yeah, so. The big question, the big question is, is what is the the rate of progress of everybody here. Yeah. You know, the, 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 you know, Lao Fang, obviously just towering above other, everyone else, but she's got nine kilos on, or 11 kilos on uh, Olivia. But, uh, you know, if Olivia closes that gap even further, we'll see. Yeah, Olivia's, Olivia's improving at a rate that I don't think anyone else is in the world. Well, I was thinking... Well, maybe, actually, uh, Schweitzer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All of <laughs> Put a the sudden. four kilos on her, on her snatch. <laughs> yeah. There she is now. She's going to have a long wait. Because she yeah. most certainly will be the last athlete out. Yeah. And she'll... She will almost certainly open after everybody's finished. I could see I could see Alwine taking a shot at a 135. Well, you, depends you what Olivia's going to... I don't think Olivia's, Olivia's going to open, open higher than that. She'll yeah. open at 140-ish. Yeah, she put her numbers in at 105, 135, but I think it was... Well, 110 she did in the end, and I think 140. Maybe it'll be Maybe it'll be less. There's Meredith now. A very good clean and jerker. The 2021 world champion. Her coach, Danny Camargo. Yeah first coach of uh, another U.S. athlete, Maddie Rogers. Yeah. He started her. And he's uh, Florida-based. Yes. Right, yeah. Oli Concepts? I think that's his club. Yeah. Celia yeah. Gold. Yeah, 115. She, I, I haven't checked the, the school, but we'll do that now. But Celia could be one of the first out. Yeah, it looks like she'll be one of the first out. But Lisa... <laughs> Lisa Schweitzer is supposed to be the first out, despite having taken a silver medal in the European Snatch Battle. But she'll probably get a 10 kilo PR, so... <laughs> it's possible. Yeah. And here we are with the Queen of Jerk session. Bar is loaded to 118 loaders, so one kilo less. Now for the first attempt, a lifter from Israel, C. 
Virginia, gold. Lotus, yeah, lots of changes going on right now. 119. Wow. Big jump. And how, I mean, yeah. I mean, if we see the same kind of thing we saw in the snatch, then it, it could be a few minutes before we actually get a lifter out here. So, Yannette is... A lot is of changes. Maybe going to be the first athlete out at 120. So there's Lisa Murray. She's waiting. Yeah. Yannette's coming out here. So yeah, that's best cleaner jerk internationally is actually 120 kilos. So it's a heavy opener. She's made 124 kilos in the gym. Very strong. Yep. Comfortable opener for her. Remaining with the same weight, 120 kilos. Now for the first attempt. Representing Germany, Lisa Marie Schweitzer. So, Lisa doing actually what we saw, I think, Max Lang do yesterday, also a German athlete. After snatching well, just getting in quite an early clean and jerk. Yeah, it's a smart move. Um, and potentially putting herself in with a shot at a medal quite early on. But also, she's, she's not uh, the strongest clean and jerker. So this is, this is still a pretty heavy opener for her. Gonna wait for that buzzer. Getting focused. Beautiful clean. Oh, just barely ekes out that jerk. Waiting for the down signal. Wow. The referee Shed asleep at the wow. wheel. You could see she was unaware of what was happening. Do, yeah, what, I mean, what do you think happened there? Oh, she was she was not paying attention. She totally just forgot. Yeah, you could see from here she was. Yeah, I mean, I saw her. I, she was paying attention, but I think she was knew what was going on. The buzzer wasn't <laughs> working, and then and then we saw her frantically grab the flags. Oh, now the jury's getting in, involved. Well, I think right here. Do you ah, think yeah, her little, left arm is just yeah, slow? Yeah, left arm's a bobble. Yeah. I mean, it's been a great session for the jury. <laughs> jury the yeah, yep, they're jury taking it away. The lift. That's 3-0 yeah. for the jury this session. They love to do it. Yeah. Well, 121 now on the bar. I imagine that... Well, it'll be 120. It'll go back down. It'll go to back to 120, it. but we'll see if uh, she just she can't bumps it. to 21 to get... Well, she won't get any rest there, really. Thank you. That's frustrating. You know, it's going to take something out of her, too. Yes, Lisa will have two minutes to prepare for the second attempt. We'll see what the Germans do here. I imagine they're going to just repeat that weight. Mm. They can always take a little bit bigger jump on the, the third to yep. try to get her that medal. They're going to have to. Getting a little bit of last minute coaching there from Almir Velagic. Super heavyweight, former super heavyweight for Germany. Competed in the Steiner era. I think actually he and Steiner did a two man clean and jerk with like 330 yeah, kilos. I remember that video. Yeah. I didn't realize it was him. Okay, here she comes. 
We've still got just over a minute on the clock, plenty of time. set up, takes her time, waits for that 30 second buzzer to go off. There it is. Nice, like clockwork. Yep. Gotta get the bar behind her head a little bit better than the first. Yeah. Better luck out. Much better attempt. There's no way that's not a good lift. No. Shutting the jury down with that lift. So we'll see what she takes. I imagine they're going to bump up a little bit and try to hold off as long as they can. Yeah, they're going to need to see some of these other athletes open up just to get an idea of what kind of shape they'll need to uh, probably look for what, what they hope will eventually be a, a bronze. But yeah. I'm not sure she's going to be able to hold out. Honestly, she's, she's opened comparatively very light. Yeah, 124 kilos, I think is her best. So it was going to be Stella Dotter, but she's bumped up. Yanet here coming out for 123 for her second. Forward on the clean. No problem yeah. with the lockout. Good jerk. Wow, two to one. Her left arm doesn't quite have that same lockout that her right arm does. It is locked, but it uh, just doesn't have the same anatomical position. Probably why she got that red. Yeah, look at her left arm here. Wrist is bent back a little further. Yeah. Just looks odd, but it's it's fine. Yeah, totally. So it's gone back to Lisa, but there's no way she'll come out with that. No, and she's bumped up again to 124. So Celia Gold now. Pretty bit clean and jerk for her. Strong. Yeah, scooted forward a little bit on that one. Oh, very nice yeah. jerk. Yeah, great lockout. Strong overhead. A bit a little bit unstable yeah. in her lower body, but her, her lockout holds so strong. Yeah, I just had a little bit of a rushed pull there, caused her to hop forward a bit. So if she makes this, she'll be at 331. This would be big for her. That would be a six kilo 
total record. Nice clean, the best of the three. Two kilo clean and drunk record. Elbows are strong. Yeah, very nice lift. Oh, I'd love to have seen Ten. her be given that first lift. Oh, yeah. See what, what she could do if she had another. Exactly. What 26, could she have done? 26, 27. Yeah. That's great. 231 kilos. Wow. Phenomenal Six performance. Kilo personal best in the total. It's amazing. So Meredith won't come out now. I, I wouldn't have, have thought. Have not, we've not seen her open this light in a long time. Yeah. 125 kilos. The last time we saw her open at a weight like that was 2020 at the, what is that, the, the Arnold Sports Fest. Yeah. So Davies moving up as well. There's Stu making the adjustment. Still the daughter. <laughs> Perfect unison. Yeah. Yeah, that was totally intentional. 127 is her international best. This is a heavy opener. Just two kilos off her best. Mm. Wow. She's made 75% of all of her clean and jerk openers in her career. Yeah, she had a very good snatch session as well. A little bit tough on the recovery and the clean, but she's up. Ooh. Solid jerk. Wow. Yeah. yeah. She locked out so high. Yeah. She barely had to split. Bare I mean, I don't think she dropped her back knee at all. She barely split. No, she just has so much power. <laughs> very strong. I mean, yeah. Looks like she could have push, push breast it almost. Yeah, look at that. So strong. Okay. So what do we think is going to happen? We've got a, a lot of changes going in right now. This has been a very good clean and jerk session so far. Only yeah. one missed lift. I think we're going to go to Janet from Finland. Yep. Yeah, here we go. Final attempt, 126. They've got a, a clap in unison going here for her. Both the coaches and her yeah. teammates. The North Koreans do the same thing, but I've not seen another country do it before. Good clean. Oh, uh, that left arm just yeah, gives out. It does. Can't quite hold it. But what a strong young athlete, you know, when she, uh, when she's actually been doing weightlifting for more than a, a year or so, yeah. she's going to be, yeah, she's going to be amazing. Okay, so Meredith Alwine now. Susanna prepared to follow. Here she comes, 130 she's made in training in 2024. Of course, she's, has she made a, she's actually had a personal record in the training hall in Riyadh at the World Championships six months ago. I remember watching it. I think it might've been 100 and, it's either 39 or 41. I think 41. Yeah. yeah I was more shocked that Riyadh was six months ago. Alwine, 27. 
and her jerk. Such a yeah. short dip. So strong. Yeah. Oh, oh. stumble there, but yeah. Good lift. From Good lift. Two to one. Red. We'll see if the jury is gonna. No, they're not flinching on that one. No. They wanted to, but they couldn't. Yeah, oh yeah, they couldn't find anything. They they searched. Wow. Interestingly, Meredith, as a uh, way of sort of trying to reduce the the risk of burnout, she's actually cut back the number of training sessions she has every week from yeah. nine to six. So I guess she was on double days. Yeah. You know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then probably single Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Yep. But she's just on uh, Monday to Saturday. Pushing hard. Now here's Loredana. You know, she's not the strongest. Well, within Europe, she sort of is the strongest fin jerker, but yeah, internationally. internationally. Very easy clean, though. Always an easy clean. But that jerk, I mean... It's <laughs> unique. It's unique. It's the the whole... Um, it's been coined internationally now as the Toma Shuffle. Yeah. I think some people look to it as the... Uh, optimal technical movement in the jerk, but it's most certainly not, but it's the delayed last foot is only getting more and more delayed as her yeah, career goes on. She also has a tendency to shift sideways yeah, yeah. on the jerk, which just can't make it stable. But she gets away with it, it works. It's, I mean, it's amazing how long that front foot waits yeah. before it moves. Not only is her back foot planted, but it's the weight overhead has almost been absorbed, and then it moves. Yeah. Here's 127 for Volodska. Very strong clean. She's certainly in with a shot at a medal. Oh. Little struggle to get back under the bar, yeah. but I don't think anything happened on the elbows. The clean looks good. I'm not sure what the jerk's going to look like when she starts adding a few more kilos. Yeah. Sarah Davies also worth mentioning. Still yet to open. It's her and Olivia Reeves. Here she comes now, 127. This is a pretty heavy opener for Sarah. Her best international clean and jerk is 132. Which I think, when did she hit that? She made that, yeah, the, the world champs in 2021, Uzbekistan. She took the silver medal there behind Meredith Arwin. But she hasn't opened this heavy. Well, since the Olympic Games. Good clean. Oh, it's off to the yeah. side. It's just not balanced oh, yeah. under the bar. That bar is out. Aaron Barton, 
the other GB athlete who competed in the B session, totaled 217 kilos earlier today. If Sarah makes a lift, she'll get quite a big, big lead on that. up with the clean. Yeah, doesn't quite get that left arm, or that right arm locked. Maybe a little guarding of that injury, that left yeah. elbow, right elbow. One minute, she has a tendency on a clean as well to hop forward. She gets behind the bar, right. jumps forward a little bit. Doesn't really affect her too much, but you know, the better the clean, the easier the jerk's gonna feel. All right. So here's Sarah Davies at 128. All wine, not gonna take 28, I assume. She just made 127. Okay, here she comes, 128. No, she is a very strong-minded competitor. She just will not give up. She has absolute confidence in herself. Better clean the first. Can she get the bar behind her head on the jerk, though? That's closer. Yeah, there's a big, you could see that dip yep. and drive was very, very forward. Contemplating what to do, what to fix. Yeah. Just thinking about it, replaying that lift in her head. That's yeah, got to be frustrating here. So if she makes it, she will. No, she won't. She won't move into a into a medal position or anything. Celia now, you know, snatch the same as Sarah. Also going for 128. Yeah, strong clean. Oh, better wow. jerk, yeah. Got locked out there really well. Yeah, very, very strong. Wow, okay. Got one red there so, from the jury, or from the refs. Surprising. Yeah, so see the gold. I mean, what was her best prior to this? It feels like, yeah, 123. Yeah, that's yeah, a great. Yeah, a lot of massive personal best by these athletes today. Really incredible session. Here's Davies. She needs this lift to make a total. Yeah. It won't be enough to get her into the medals, but certainly doesn't want to walk away without a total. little mental checklist for what to do on that jerk. Yeah. It's a tough fight. Huge split, How? fights for it. What an incredible comeback. I can't tell you from this side angle how 
impossible what she just did looked. You know, she lunged she under that so bar. You could forward. see, yeah, see how deep she got under that, but was able to stabilize it. She was pushing all of them forward, but on that one, she just committed so much more. A real testament to her yeah, confidence. Still frustrated with her performance there, of course. Two for six. But at least she's got a total. Yeah. So that's going to be 226 kilos in the total for Sarah Davis. Her Stirler daughter opening. Oh, second attempt at 129. Yeah. This will move her up into second behind Loredana. More importantly, I suppose it moves her ahead of Velotska. It will also bump Lisa Marie Schweitzer out of the medals permanently. Oh. Yeah, she pulled it too far back. Yeah, fell backwards. She's got another one. She looks strong enough to clean it. Just got to tidy a few things. Without any medals. Yeah. It's going to come so down to the clean here. It's massive lift. Very powerful athlete, very strong. She needs to dial this in a little bit more. Wow. Yeah, better clean. Yeah. Oh, oh, I just couldn't do it. Just forward, the jerk was forward. Wow, I mean, she, that looks, at the top of the pull, it, that looked a little bit heavy. Yeah. You know, her turnover yeah. was substantially slower than it was in her opener. But she does look very strong. I mean, yeah. she's she's getting better and better. Yeah. 105 in the snatch, personal best for her. 125 is a solid clean and jerk and a 230 total. Yeah. Really athletic as well. Yeah, it's only a kilo shy of her best ever total. Okay, so we sort of know the medals. It looks very much like Loredana's Going to win. Velotska's going to take second. Yeah, she's taking this and 130 uh, here. Lisa Schweitzer will probably take bronze. Well, will definitely take bronze. Oh, easy lift. That was a better wow. jerk than her opener. Good wow. Yeah. You know, she's oh, not going to be able to take a shot to move ahead of Toma. No, but, but she's she, got um, silver in the clean and jerk now. Yeah. She's done very well. Toma here with the 131 for gold. In the clean and jerk. Yeah, gold clean and jerk. She has gold in the total wrapped up.
There we go. Very strong clean. Wow. Surprising she missed that like. Yeah, she's going to just come back out for it. Good clean again. Yep. She get that bar behind her head. Nope. No, she can't. You know, all of her weight is on her front foot there, and she's just got way too wow. much distance between the front and back foot. She's reaching back so far and just doesn't get herself under the barbell at all. I would love to know what the what the problem is. Because like it must it's obviously not a strength thing. And she in other lifts she has amazing technique. Well, is, does she have an in I, I mean, we can see what the problem yeah, is. Yeah. But what I mean is, why? Why can't she fix why it? Why is it? Why can't she fix yeah. it? Because it's it's not like it's a little bit of a hindrance. It's like a 20 kilo hindrance to yeah. the clean. Yeah. You know, she can clean mid 40s any day, and yet she's clean and jerking mid 20s. You know, sometimes it's, uh, not, it's not great. Is it an injury? Is it? I could imagine, and uh, you know, you see it sometimes. Athletes and coaches get fixated on numbers and weights and they and they don't take those times they need to to fix things because you know what they've done is worked up till now and you know a bit of fear about changing it but it is odd because she's had time this quad to do that here's Al Wine 132 a little bit tougher clean but she gets up fine Very strong jerk. Yeah. I think she's jerked 150 kilos from, from the blocks. blocks. Yeah. yeah. I could, I could think I believe that. You know, she doesn't. You can tell she's not in the best shape here. No. But uh, that jerk is just. That's the 230 total. It's pretty good. Strong. Um, so interestingly, one attempt remains for the European Championships. We still have the U.S. athletes, but that lift goes to Volodska, and she's actually opting for 137 kilos. A seven kilo jump, we'll give her which, if successful, would move her ahead of Loredana, and she would become European champion. It would also give her a 242 total as well, which would... Oh, that's what I mean. ...move her above 10th uh, in the Olympic oh. rankings. 241 is 10th right now. Yeah. Smart. We'll see if she can make it, but... Oh, wow. It's, it really is a two birds, one stone type yeah. thing. She would win European Championships and get into the top 10 yep. for the Olympics. Wow. There's never been a more important lift in her life. Yeah, that's a bold, bold move there. Yeah. So and you Alan, know what? It's not like it's a crazy PR. No, She's yeah. made 135 before. Yeah. So Volodska is right around that range. She's attempted heavy lift. She's attempted a 137. She's attempted even a 138 before. Yeah, these are, the, these are the kind of lifts that we expect to see with this kind of qualification system. Yeah, this is exciting. You know, and, and it's on a third. She's got her medal locked up. She's going to put a, a really big attempt in to try to make that total yeah. and give her the win in the, in the championship. This is the kind of situation we want to see, whereas, you know, we've seen in the past maybe attempts that are just really wild uh, and, and, you know, 
Athletes bombing in an attempt to get higher on that OQR list. I think so Meredith will go for... 35. Yeah, it says 35. I thought she was going to go for 37 because that would be an international record for yeah. her. But 35 is a great lift. Yeah, I'm guessing she's not quite in that shape today. Yeah. It would only be a kilo under her best. Very strong. Yeah, this would be a solid, solid lift for her. And in case we haven't fully explained it, and we're a little bit late now, but the reason the USA are here, <laughs> Um, they were advised not to go to Venezuela for the Pan American Champs. They received an invitation from the IWF, and so they're here as guest athletes. Final attempt for Meredith, 135. Oh, much better yeah. clean than the second attempt. There's oh, the jerk. That's a good jerk as well. He's just got to stabilize. Lock the knees. Yeah, brilliant. Well done. What a fight. What, what a, a save. What a lift. Meredith Howe into the USA. 98-135. Yeah. Not her best snatch day, but very, very close to being her best international clean and jerk day. Yeah. Just a kilo shy of her personal best. 230 yeah. in the total. Great performance. So Olivia is opening above 35. This brings out Velazco with that 137 that we talked yeah. about. This lift, if she's successful, gives her gold. She'll become the European champion. She'll also become the 10th spot on the Olympic qualification also ranking. Also, worth mentioning, Olivia's bumped up to 140. That's what I expect. For her opener. Oh, oh. Just not even there. Wow, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's so tough. You yeah. know, to know that a lift, so much is riding on that lift, and then to walk off and, and know, wow, I just let that go. Pulled to the knees, yeah. Oh, brutal. Yeah, just not there today. So 140 kilos now for Olivia Reeves. Let's see how she makes this look. Not more than... I would say not more than about six months ago. This total, making this lift with a 255 kilo total. Well, it would have been an American record. Would have been an American record. It would have been staggering to see. Oh, oh, yeah. And here she is opening 140. Yeah. She made this on her. S oh, she made this on her opening attempt at the Grand Prix. This is back in December. It was on her second attempt at the World Championships, and it was on her third attempt at the competition before that. So it's just coming one attempt earlier. They don't get easier than that. No. It's just on. It's yeah. I don't know. It's unbelievable to see the strength of this young girl. Well, here's the thing. You know, the world record, Lao Gui Fang, is 153. But she doesn't actually make 140 look any more difficult than that. No. You know, Olivia arguably makes that look easier than anyone in the world. Yeah. She just hasn't yet hit the top weights of the world record. Yeah, I mean, as Olivia continues to improve, you know, she's doing she's doing the number she's doing training four days a week, four times a yeah, week. Yeah, four days a week, yeah. Lao Gui Fang guaranteed training probably twice that much. Yeah. You know, when we saw her in training on her first day, she just got off a flight, uh, went to the hotel, got a few hours sleep, came in. She back squatted up to 200 kilos. She did that in about wow. six minutes. Then she <laughs> snatched 100 for a double, hit 110 for a single, built up in the clean jerk to 140. Then uh, did some back squats again, 180 for a bunch of triples, I think, and wow. then called it a day. Yeah, whatever they're yeah. doing is working. She is incredibly strong. The question now is, what does she do? I don't know. I would have to imagine 145. That was such a comfortable opening weight. Yeah. And she really has, you know, she 
she has nothing to lose here by, by taking big attempts. Yeah. Obviously, being smart is key. 144. I wouldn't be want. surprised if she... She might take this and then jump to yeah. 48 for the first one. 44, best. 48, yeah. Or she'll take 45 and then 48. 44 is what she made on her second attempt at the last one. Yeah. So she'd just be copying that at this competition. But she also said to us that she wanted 150. You know, she made that very clear that she'd like to clean a joke 150. Yep, they're going up. They're go yeah, they're going up. So they just go to 150. <laughs> and then go well, to 154. You know, we are in Bulgaria. Yeah, that yeah, would yeah. be that'd be the thing to do here. Oh yeah. Okay, 145. That's what we we expected. That's what we're gonna see. Yeah, she's coming out. Doesn't even look. No, she looks excited. Mild, doesn't even look mildly concerned. <laughs> no, no. no, Big smile not, on her face. You know, she, there's something going on in her expression, but a look of concern is certainly not any part yeah. of it. Looks a little more focused than we've seen before. Not Huge clean again. Wow. Oh, yeah. She really lunged out for yeah, that. Yeah, she didn't. I don't think she really had what she needed on that jerk. She nah. drove it, but then tried to get too far under the bar. Right. Well, 146 she made right in training, she said. Yeah. Yeah, that looked a little bit uh, maybe unsure you can see yeah and bear in mind nobody in the three heavier u.s categories has cleaned a joke this much yeah not till the supers yeah after this last attempt we have a medal ceremony after the medal ceremony we are back to the main group up to 81 kilos. this will be interesting I I don't know. I think that, I mean, she can clean it. She can clean anything she wants. Yeah. That jerk was less convincing than her snatch miss. Yeah. Her snatch miss looks like she can just come back and do that straight away. Yeah. That one, oh, she's going up. She's going to 47. Okay. Well, if she's going 47, Give her I think she'll go 48. Yeah, that's my guess, too. She'll go... Go for 48 because that it bumps her, her total up, kilo, yeah. and it's uh, and it's a big number. It is, yeah. So it is a big. Well, it's an American record. Yeah. And you know, maybe she doesn't need something like that. She needs to be. Well, it's also a junior world record. Yeah, I mean, she's been doing a lot of competitions as well. She doesn't necessarily have to do bigger and bigger numbers every go. time. So that's the change. 148. Yeah. So it's a it's a junior world record. Wow. This is a massive lift. Yeah. Junior world record, kilos. a senior U.S. record. I wonder if that jerk was just a fluke. You know, she was a little forward on it. I mean, we've seen her do such big lifts. May have just been a little bit off, you know, positionally. Left the bar out in front of her. record clean and jerk attempt. It's absolutely colossal. She's got 15 seconds. Huge clean. Very strong clean. Can she get it behind her head? Oh what my an, word. It's, oh. Oh, it's right there. You know, it's so like she strong. needs the she needs the added pressure, and suddenly she just turns it on again. But wildly strong. You know, she just strong. wasn't quite able to make it. it. It very much looked like she had it. Yeah, 
What an incredible athlete. Yeah. We, I mean, you know, to be a junior, to be this strong with this kind of upward trajectory, it's such an exciting time in weightlifting to see her I mean, really clean. mature into her career. The, the clean in particular, just so incredible. Yeah, she wobbled a little go. bit on that dip. She made it, and then suddenly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I mean, she. Yeah, she just wasn't quite stable, you she know. She basically had it. It uh, looks like a make, and then suddenly you can see the look of surprise as she realizes, yeah. I don't have it. So, um, the European champion is Loredana Toma. 114, 127, a 241 total. Silver medal is uh, Volodka, the independent athlete. 105, 130, 235 total. Four kilos below her. Lisa Marie Schweitzer, what a day. All new personal records, 107, 124, six kilo PR in the total, 231. The runner-up, Stella Dotter from Iceland. To the US athletes who are competing at the as invitational athletes, Olivia Reeves totaled 255 kilos, 115, 140, just three for six, but 14 kilos more than the European champion, Laura Dana, was able to make. And then Meredith Alwyn, 98, 135. She made four attempts, 233 in the total, which had she been competing at the European Championships, would have been enough for the bronze medal.